you arrange this way, you have built Inception because there is no fingerprint on any of the work that you do. It is always someone else's word. You've got to find a winner. The idea of a dollar a day is you're doing lots and lots of testing. The, the idea of failing fast, doing lots of experiments, is you're okay with taking many shots on goal because you're going to airball a lot of them, but all you need is one or two of these that does well. And when you do, then all the magic happens. Oh, this is a picture of me, right? So I'm the most famous Asian cowboy, supposedly, and there's dollar bills with my face on it because someone knows that I like to talk about the one dollar a day, so they, they made this thing, and they know I like chicken wings and frisbee, so they put, you know, one in each hand. I, I can't even ride this horse if I'm holding both of these things in this way, right? Other people are tagging us. Unicorn. <laughs> oh, that's... It was a unicorn. Larry Kim. Yeah, that's a unicorn. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> that means, like, I don't exist either if it doesn't exist. So you're always sharing other people's content, not your own content. Very rarely do you ever actually say anything. So here, Logan posted this a little bit earlier. How do you compete on Facebook with only a dollar a day? Here's what's going on with Isaac and how he got famous. We'll talk about that in just a second, right? You're always sharing other people because you're, you want to make them look good because then they will reciprocate and they will make you look good. Have you mapped out your network of the people that believe in you the most? Of the, of the customers that just no matter what, they'll say, oh yes, these guys are amazing, right? Uh, I hang out with Peter and we, we like to eat bitter balls together. You know, what, what, is it, what is it that you like to do? What, what, who is it that you have on your side so that you are maintaining these kinds of relationships? That's, what, that's the key of what you have to do. And when you create lots and lots of these one minute videos with these other people, they're not going to say no. Look, I just have five questions, five minutes, we'll arrange this in advance keep all this stuff inside YouTube, then we upload it to Facebook, we boost it for a dollar a day off of these public figure pages. Then you have all the magic that happens because now you have control over a whole community of sites. So Logan has a public figure page. Here he spoke at Social Media Marketing World. Yeah, you guys know that? If you're in social media, this is the conference you're supposed to speak at. This is the one, right? And of course, he posts summaries of what he has learned and you know, interesting things. Here he is, you know, sport. he's a big fan of football. So here he is with the Oakland Raiders. American, American football. Oh yeah, we, we also have other football teams, both kinds of football. We also like the Golden State Warriors, yeah? So here I are with the Golden State Warriors. So you're, you're sharing these things with, without making it sound like you're bragging, right? That's the key, it's a fine line. Be careful, you know, have to be careful about that. And when you have these videos and articles that you boost from your public figure page or other public figure pages that you manage, then it's easy to build a community across, this is the key slide, by the way, pay attention. You have to build this whole community. You see this outside ring of all these people's faces? These are all people that have agreed to be part, of, they, they believe in something. We've incepted them because we're building their brand and we build their brand, they build our brand. So for example, job creation for young adults. These people are talking about that. They're authoritative, right? And that goes into these different topics. The topics then go into our platform, which is what we sell. The why is the most outside layer. These are the stories that resonate. This is why marketers suck so bad because they don't know how to tell the stories from their users, from their community. When you have these stories that go into topics, which is the how, how do you do something? What are the problems? Think about the product or service that you sell. What is the problem that you are solving? And can you break that down into the particular issues so then they want your product? Don't ever talk about your product first. Autopilot's fantastic. I can drag and drop and all of this, all, all these sorts of things, but HubSpot and Infusionsoft have a drag and drop builder too for campaigns. And I could argue that certain things are better than another. You don't want to go into that. You want to tell the stories of how these other people are successful and how they overcame and the particular issues that they solved. And oh, they happen to be using autopilot because you have one minute videos on the outside from other people's sites that you're boosting that eventually come to your site, that come to a lead magnet, that go to, you know, maybe it's a conference. There's many ways to bring people from the outside all the way into the center of this. So when you map this for yourself, this is the power of your content library. Your content library is not sequentially what you're doing in May, June, July, August. Oh, I need five blog posts per week. or I need 10 tweets per day. That's just a waste of time. 
that is quantity instead of quality. When you arrange this way, you have built Inception because there is no fingerprint on any of the work that you do. It is always someone else's word, what someone else has to say. And we have so many of these. I'll give you one more and then Logan will share some things. Let's say, for example, you guys know USA Today? Big magazine or big, I think it's the number one newspaper, right, in the United States. And this occurred just, I think two, was it two days ago? A few days ago? USA Today asked FBI to probe rise and face fake, uh, fake Facebook followers. And the reporter reached out to us and said, hey, how does this work? And so I go on and on and on and on about how does this work, right? That creates authority. Of course, you have to be careful because if we say anything too bad about Facebook, they're going to call and get mad and then they don't want to come to the conference or they don't want to continue to interview and produce content with us. But this is where a lot of the power occurs because all you have to do is get one thing in here. Oops, there's this one. Oh, not that one. The Facebook seeks more paid ads. This was five years ago. It's still producing power. Advertisers' free ride may end on Facebook, right? So when a reporter from the New York Times or the Wall Street Journal or whatever magazine, TV, newspaper, radio sees this on the Wall Street Journal, on Forbes, on all these other places, on the Infusionsoft blog, uh, they see it you know, here on Facebook, they are like us, they are in, uh, rationally ignorant, intellectually lazy. So if someone else has said it, they've already done the homework, it must be good. And all you need is that one seed and that you can amplify and create lots and lots of variants. It's very, very easy to build a network in a certain area. So when we produce lots of videos with Josh Fector and then we bring in these other people and we have tons and tons of these kinds of videos where we're uplifting other people, their brand becomes your brand. Their list becomes your list. And as a growth hacker, you have to be thinking five, six, seven steps ahead. Facebook is the ultimate vehicle to do this because that's where the data is because that's where you're building remarketing audiences. You follow me on this? Okay, so that said, Logan's turn. All right, you care if I take uh, from the computer? You talk, I'll, I'll drive. Okay. So we've been talking about Inception, doing things a few steps ahead. Some of you might be wondering, well, that's a little bit far for me. What's the actual first step if I don't know where I'm at or which step to take? So the first step you need to take before you start doing all these other things is to use video on Facebook. So let's go to either Isaac or the post I made earlier. I was just browsing earlier. Uh, we do Facebook ads. I'm kind of an ad geek. So I like to actually look at ads on Facebook, see what other people are doing. And is anyone in here a big Marvel fan with superheroes? You can see the new Wonder Woman movies coming out soon. I see a few hands. So I saw a preview for Wonder Woman um, when I was in an Uber, and I was looking at some of the stats on it rather than actually watching the preview in terms of the video views and stuff. And this like huge Hollywood trailer got less views and less engagement than our buddy Isaac. And it's incredible because I know it's a boosted post, and it's got a lot of money going against it. We've worked with a mattress company that spent over 25K on Facebook a day, and they were mostly local. And that was mattresses. So I can guarantee you Hollywood, when they're putting out stuff for movies, they're putting a lot of money against it. Isaac puts almost no money against his thing. Isaac made some videos. We told him to boost it for a dollar a day. He's like, um, oh, a dollar per day? Let me ask my wife if I can spare that budget, you know? So it's not like we boosted our way there with a ton, a ton of cash. But the reason his story was able to beat out the Hollywood story and have more engagement, more views, is because of the way and the nature of Facebook. And anybody can have the success. Who in here has seen this video? This is Isaac. He's talking with his son, Bodhi, about being bullied. Has, have any of you guys seen this on Facebook? Raise a hands. High in the air. A few? Wow. In the Not States, like, here, everyone. Yeah. yeah. So this is Isaac. He talks about his son getting bullied. We told him to make these one-minute videos. It's just him on an iPhone. He doesn't have any professional microphone, any professional lighting. And he started getting a ton of pickup on this video. It got shared all over the place. And we can see we did, we did put money against it because Dennis talked briefly about some of the stats, you know, view through rate, uh, average watch time. Those are all Facebook's way of giving you signals. When you post a video, we talk about six seconds as the average. If it's higher than that, if it's north of 10 seconds, that's pretty good. North of 15 is really good, you know. That Ty Lopez one was 55 seconds because he talks about whatever is Lamborghini and stuff and people stick around. But anything even north of 10 is basically Facebook telling you like, hey, like you have something like kind of a winner, like maybe put some spend against it. So Isaac knew he had a winner. 
with his posts. And when you have a winner, what are you going to do? This is where we start talking about inception, you know, thinking a few steps ahead. Now, first, you want to get some engagement on it. So we boosted it to people who are parents or who have children or who care about being bullied, some of these different issues. And after it gets some traction, you really want something to blow up. You really want to get inception. And this is what Dennis was talking about. And the, the way we do this is by targeting people that work in the media. So you target based off where they work and also their job title. So you can target journalists, producers, broadcasters, anchors, all these different things. So look at all these targets. These are all like one mass media target that we've put together and we use time and time again. So news writer, producer, features, and then it's also people that work at Forbes, NBC, CSN, all these different places, CNN. And when you have something with high engagement and you send out to the media like this, it starts getting picked up. So let's go through some, and you guys can see some of the channels that picked up Isaac's video that he made just in his bathroom using an iPhone. It's just telling a simple story. It's a little one minute video. That's so key is the story. It's genuine. You know, it, if it looks or smells or tastes like an ad, it's not going to perform well. But if it looks organic and real, even if it's not well done, people will respect it more and actually engage with it because people just don't want to engage with ads. He's made all these follow-up posts. The power of Facebook is doing sequencing, where if you have someone who's seen video A, you show them video B and C and D, etc. So Isaac's continuing to make more posts around this topic, which is part of his topic wheel we've been talking about. But we can see Love What Matters, 500,000 views. That's the channel that picked it up. I think uh, China Times, it got picked up internationally in China. They put some Chinese subtitles on it, so I don't know what it's saying, but. Let's see, there should be some more in here too. Oh, this has led to him getting speaking engagements too. That's another thing with boosting to the media. I mean, any business goal you have, he wants to speak more, he manages personal brands. BuzzFeed, you guys heard of BuzzFeed? Probably watched some of their videos. So BuzzFeed picked him up, 11 million views. So that's huge, right? We didn't reach out to BuzzFeed. I mean, you know, they reached out to us. Let's look at the average watch time, 36 seconds. So we said six seconds was average on Facebook. You want to do one minute videos, you have to hook them in right away in the first three seconds, otherwise you're going to lose them. 36 seconds is just amazing. You know, anything north of 15 is just fantastic. Facebook's just like trying to tell you like you have a clear winner. Ellen Nation, Ellen DeGeneres, she picked it up. Uh, Lad Bible picked it up. So this thing's getting tons and tons of traction. And all this comes from what we've been talking about. A, the first step you do, you know, moving the pawns is one minute video. Making a lot of them in cycle, in test, on your iPhone. Doesn't have to be professional. Doesn't have to take a long time. All those videos we made with Josh Vector, uh, we knocked out like 10 or 15 of those in a 30 minute span, you know. It doesn't have to be this huge ordeal. It's just posting it on Facebook. If people don't like it, then that's fine. Facebook won't show it to anybody anyways. It'll get no reach and no one will see it. So there's no risk. If people do like it, then Facebook will show it to people and it'll be great. So that's the first step. Make lots of these. We've seen maybe one in five will be a winner. Maybe less might be one in 10. Oh, Mike, that was a big one. I got like five million. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, no, hang on, hang on. I'll get there. I accidentally clicked on it. Keep talking. So the next step, so is then when you find your winners, you boost them to the media. Whatever niche you're in, you have certain influencers within that niche, whether it's cooking, fashion, fitness, digital marketing. Any niche has influencers that if they pick you up and they share your thing, if Ellen shares Isaac's video, it's so much more powerful and so much more authority than Isaac just sharing it or some random person for obvious reasons, right? That 400,000 shares on this one reshare. Do you guys see this? Because the story's so powerful. There's 300,000 likes, but more important, there's 400,000 shares. I don't care about the 26 million views. He's gotten over 70 million views. He's so internet famous that he can't go to the mall or restaurant and sit down with other people coming up to him wanting to take a selfie. He has to worry about the safety of his kids because these shares count for 13 times more than a like or a comment, right? Facebook's algorithm is taking this into account. So when you have a video view that is only six seconds versus 20 seconds, the algorithm is taking that into account. You've gotta be putting content out there that is getting tons of engagement and not because it's cat photos, not because it's Donald Trump, but because it's so relevant to that particular audience, they can't help but want to engage with that. 